to talk about mixing colors today and a couple of ways you can do it. Um, I'm going to start off by putting out some of your primary colors here, which I have red. some yellow and some blue which I have to get some more regular blue that's kind of a light blue but I'll talk about that in a minute so, you can mix your colors in the color cups before you actually use them. So, here's our color cups, and we're going to take our primary colors and make some secondary colors just by mixing them in the cups themselves. So, I'm going to take my red. some yellow to it. And what you're going to get there is the orange color. which, here's a little color theory for you here. With red, if you're mixing orange with red and yellow, you need a lot of yellow and a little bit of red. The red will really overpower the yellow, so you'll get more of a reddish orange. If you want a lighter color orange, you would add some more yellow to that. So when you mix two primary colors together you get a secondary color. So there's one of them. There's orange. And let's do blue and red. should give us a purple So we have our primary colors, a couple of our secondary colors. Now you can also make a tint, which is to take a color and either make it lighter or darker. So if I take red. Add some white to it. And that will give me a pink color. Now again, red kind of really overpowers some of the other colors, so when using red, use it sparingly compared to the other color you're mixing it with. Alright, so there's our pink. And you can see that this can all be done 
in your color cup um, before you even start tattooing. But another way to do it is to actually mix the color in your skin while you're tattooing. Um, but while you have this, let's say you're tattooing and you have red and you just finished tattooing red and you want to get pink so you would add white to your red to get that pink um, so you have blue and you want purple so you're going to you have blue in the skin you're going to add red to it and you'll get a purple color this is what allows you to use your tip while you're tattooing and let's say you're tattooing with red and your needle you know you haven't cleaned your needle off so you still have red on it but then you want to get a little bit of a purple color and a blend into a purple color so without cleaning your needle you would go into your blue get some blue in there and then start tattooing in the skin which will give you the purple so you're mixing the colors on your needle So if you're going from orange let's say you're doing flames and you're doing orange but then you want to do yellow highlights you know Without cleaning your needle, you're going to dip in your yellow and lighten up this orange as you go. Going from a orange to a lighter orange to more of a yellow. And that can all be done just by not cleaning your needle before you dip from one color into the other color. Um, this is the reason why you really need to know your inks and get familiar with your inks. Okay, here's one brand that's orange, and here's another brand that's it's not orange, but it's a little off, kind of an orangey tangerine. So, if you mix these two oranges with your white, you're going to get different colors. You're going to get a lighter orange, but it's going to be different. For instance, here's a Bloodline Knucklehead Red, and that's going to be different from Crimson Red, Light Red, Scarlet Red, you know there's all these different reds, Vampire Red, that when you mix it, you're going to get different colors because these are different shades of red uh, the company, these are different companies so they might have a, d a different ratio of the ink in there um, you know, again here's a deep green green and a lime green so this lime green 
probably a mixture of regular green and some yellow. to get a lime green. Okay. But if you mix this green, that was a mixture of this green and this yellow. If you mix this green with a different colored yellow, you're going to get a different result. So you really have to know your inks and be familiar with the inks you're using. And you can even kind of do what I've done here and just get a white piece of paper or something white and then mix your colors together and see how they turn out before you actually mix them and try to use them in some skin. Make yourself a little color wheel so you'll know the difference between, you know, Kurosumi orange and how it looks and an intense orange and how that's going to look if you mix it. The other way to mix colors is actually mixing it in the skin. So for the Today we're going to pretend like this piece of paper towel is your skin. Now, you can only saturate the skin with so much ink before it won't take any more ink. So, if you just Go into an area and just hit it as dark as you can. Get as much ink in there. You just packed that whole area of skin with ink. That's saturated. Now that's what you want. Sometimes when you're color packing is you just want a nice solid color. But if you're trying to blend colors in the skin, this is going to be a problem. Because it's already saturated, it's not going to take any more ink. So if you come in here and you try to add another color, it won't take it. You'll just be wasting your time and you'll be tearing up somebody's skin. So this is good for packing color, but not if you're trying to blend color. you can do, um, so for blending colors in the skin, you can do like a 50-50. So 50% green, and let's do 50% yellow. see that you will get a 
a lime green in the middle of that. Because 50% green, 50% yellow will give you a lime green. And if you're tattooing somebody, let's say this is your needle, you're going to feather this dark green this direction, and then you're going to feather this yellow this direction. To give yourself lime green. So you can see that you can blend colors in the skin. So let's say you did a red you have red in somebody's skin or a pre-existing tattoo. come in and add some white to that. What's going to happen is you are going to end up with some pink. Again, you can see that the red is going to kind of overpower the white. So, you would need a lot more white than you would the red to get that pink to come out. So you can see why it's important to learn how to mix your colors. You know, sometimes this is what they mean if you're watching a video and the person's tattooing and he said, well I only went in there 50% or I only went into this area 30% and then I came back with another color. Um, because what they're doing is they're actually blending the colors in the skin. So you can, you know, use your needle without washing it in the tube. You can blend colors with that. You can blend colors in your color cups before you even start tattooing. Or you can blend them in the person's skin. So there's three different ways of blending colors. Remember, if you saturate an area too much, you're not going to be able to do anything with it. Because if you try to come in and add another color to it, it won't mix. The skin won't take any more ink.